Hey there, I hope you're doing good. Today I am going to do a pour on a 12 inch round canvas and I put push pins in the bottom and I'm going to do a sink strainer pour and I'm just using these colors here. I've got raw umber which I'm going to use instead of black. Raw umber Deep Violet, this Artist Loft, this is Liquitex, Basics, Quinacridone Magenta, Arteza, Crimson Red, Artist Loft Neon Pink, Artist Loft Orange, Soho Urban Artist, Primary Yellow, and Master's Touch Light Magenta, and Artist Loft White. So those are the colors I'm using. I've mixed them all one to one with Oetrol Easy Flow, which is just like Floetrol in the United States. This is a water-based product. This is a European company. They send me product to demo for you and you can get their product from OetrolUSA.com or on Amazon. So it's easy flow and it's water based and this is for people that live outside of the United States that can't get Floetrol. So this is a great, great product. I do a one to one ratio with my colors and then so I mix them up and then I add water to get it to the perfect consistency where it comes off your stick like warm honey. I am not putting any silicone in these colors because I don't really want cells. A 12 inch canvas needs about 5 ounces of paint. I've got, I don't know, 15 to 20 ounces of paint mixed here, so I've got plenty of paint. So basically I just want, I'm going to put it in layers. I'm not going to do a dirty pour and then I just have to figure out basically the center point. I think that's about right. And I'm just going to pour it in. And I'm going to try to do kind of gradient, but also a little bit of um, some contrast here and there, just so you see the different layers of color. So we'll see how this works out. And it looks like it's going downhill a little. So I'm putting a popsicle stick under here. Maybe I'll put two because I don't want it to keep drifting this way. The thing about uh, sink strainer pours is you do need it to be level, that's for sure. So my flower is already cattywampus, <laughs> that term that I use.
So I think I've got more than plenty of paint on the canvas. I'm going to stop here. It was drifting this way, so trying to get it back. Kind of once you go that direction, it's hard to, to get it to go back. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this out of the center. And you never know how your center is going to end up. <laughs> I got some bubbles. So again, there's no silicone in any of the colors. So I guess I'll just go ahead and tilt it and bring it back to the center if I can. Get my full pan out here to catch my drips. Basically, I'm just getting it to the edges at this point. I'm just kind of shifting it back and forth, trying to keep it as even as I can. And sometimes you really don't know what color choices to do either. Um, I could have stayed in a really gradient pour and not included the dark brown. I was just trying to get some contrast, but I probably didn't even need it, which is kind of interesting. Again, there's no OGX or silicone, so there shouldn't be a lot of cell action going on, technically. I'm going to go ahead and tilt it to where those dark edges just go over, over just a slightly. I thought it would be fun to do it on a round canvas. As far as wooden circles, um, I've had a lot of issues with wooden circles warping. So when I saw the round canvas, which I got at Hobby Lobby, I thought, you know, I'll give it a shot with the canvas instead of a piece of wood. Okay, so I'm going to try to get that red shifted back 
pretty much evenly and get the center back. So it's pretty, pretty well centered. I'm not super crazy about the middle. Shifted just a little when I put it down. So I'm curious if I cover the center up. So I'm just going to do And So that kind of got rid of that funky center. I'm wiping my skewer. This is a bamboo skewer for food, but I'm wiping it every time I swipe. Because you don't want to bring the color into your yellow area. didn't quite get that centered. You can even go in in between them too just to bring out some more of that color. And then there's these probably brown dots from underneath. I'm trying to 
kind of swipe over them so that they don't kind of pop up I'm trying to kind of bury them and I can also just pick out some hot pink for the color just putting a little bit of yellow back here see when I, I didn't swipe there it put the purple back on it so you've got to make sure not to contaminate your colors unless you don't care if they're contaminated Okay, so it's drifting again. Trying to find trying to find the push pin. <laughs> so for some reason And sometimes if like a popsicle stick is too thick you can use you know a folded paper towel you can use whatever it takes to kind of lift it up There's some pretty color there, so I'm going to try to get my paper towel out of the way so that that can dry the way it is. And then the other thing is just making sure that my canvas is covered all the way down on all the sides. So what I'd like to do is swish through this with my skewer. I'm curious what one would look like. That doesn't look too bad. It gives it a little bit more of a separated petal look. So I'm just coming down not all the way to the yellow. And you have to be careful about dripping too. You get going too fast and you start dripping. I have a very unsteady hand by the way if you can't tell. I have the shakiest hand in the West. Even though I've been an artist for 20 years I've always had issues with a steady hand not just from being older but from the beginning I just never have had a steady hand so I like that a little bit better it kind of breaks up that hard edge and I'm going to drag my yellow out a little bit and wiping every time So it's funny that the orange didn't show up really, which was between the yellow and red, because usually orange can be kind of a 
strong thing it can kind of take over so I'm kind of surprised and now I'm wondering if I have it too slanted Okay, hopefully that won't be sideways where it keeps drifting. And there's going to be some probably little cells that pop up and that's okay. I don't mind a little bit of cells. And I've got somewhere I've got to go. And so what I do is I just take my colors and I will save them and do more pours with them but what I'll do for now is just cover them sometimes I put cups over them sometimes I put plastic but if you, if you get a, a decent cover over them and you don't leave them sitting too long like I'll I'll make sure that I add them to my other paints or get them really covered well later on today when I get back from my appointment but for now they'll stay covered and it's drifting I think I don't know I can't tell because it's not it's not totally centered anyway so it's kind of hard to tell if it's drifting or not, you know. And it doesn't help to swipe the side of your canvas with your paper towel either. That does not help. Stick my finger in some purple. I do try to wipe up most of my drips if I'm trying to keep my butcher paper fairly clean because like I have a painting that I need to do and I need to lay the painting on this table and do artwork on it and so I don't want a bunch of wet paint left on my table so I try to clean up my messes as I go as much as I can so there's a really cool pattern here on the table and I am not going to wipe that up except for the little bit of edge over here I gotta show you this okay so here we are down at the canvas and I think it's still drifting so I'm gonna have to keep working on it here it's hard to tell <laughs> but so there's where I separated the petals on the red and purple with the skewer and then this was from the sink strainer left laying on the table but that's some really cool little patterns going on there you see all those swirlies and that's really pretty so I'm gonna let that dry just the way it is so if you enjoyed it I hope you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel check out all the links below the video where it says show more or your down arrow on your mobile device and iPads Amazon PayPal Facebook my website patreon look at all the links and check it out and I will see you next time talk to you later bye bye